Hey, welcome back. It's another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill John from Mr. Excel, and I'll be joined by Excel is Fun. Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 114. Get some averages for a set of numbers. All right, so our question sent in today by Taylor. Taylor has data like this male one, male two, female one, female two, and some numbers. We want to come up with an average for each of these categories. Oh, but to make it uh, even more difficult, we're looking for ranges. So all the numbers that fall between 0 and 9, what are the average of those for this category? So I am going to do this with a pivot table. So insert, pivot table, OK. And we're going to put category across the top. So there's our female 2, male 2, male 1, female 1. And then down the side, I'm going to put numbers. Check this out. Numbers down the side. That's crazy. Why would anyone do that? Because I'm going to use the group field feature. I'm going to group from 1 to 29 in groups of 10. Click OK. So that gets me 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30. All right, now that I have that, I'm going to take numbers and drag it down to the values area. And they're going to give me a count. Isn't that annoying? We're going to come here to field settings, change it to average. And I'm going to click number format and figure out how many decimal places I want. Maybe just one would be fine. Click OK, click OK. And we now have for 11 to 20, female 2, the average is 15. Average overall for female 2. Is 11.6. Average overall for people in the 11 to 20 range is 14.4. Uh, so those all kind of look right. Let's take a quick look here. Just do a home conditional formatting, color scale, green to red. So as we'd expect, the numbers down in 21 to 30 have larger averages than the numbers up here in 1 to 10. All right, Mike, let's see what you can do. Wow, Mr. Excel. Now I know why they call you Mr. Excel. Because if I'm going to do this with a formula, my heavens, the inside of here will be some complicated formula where I have to use mixed cell references and then this too. Oh, pivot tables. They do rule. Hey, uh, so in order to do this with a formula, we're going to need some inputs, right? Greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 9. So I'm going to build a little table like this. Actually, I could probably zoom in like this. and. 2007 or later, you got to be kidding me, the average ifs with an S, there's how many criteria? There's one, two, three. So the average range, that's the numbers. Control, shift, down arrow, F, oh, define names. I have a defined name there. So those are the numbers, comma. And then the rest of this is criteria, criteria range and criteria. So the criteria range, control, shift, down arrow, comma. And then the criteria. Well, I have to click on here, and as I copy it down, I need it to be locked on this mail. But when I move this over, it needs to move to mail two. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one to lock the row, but not the column. Comma, criteria range. These are going to be the numbers again, because I have one, two conditions. Comma. The first one I'm going to say greater than or equal to in double quotes and then join it using the ampersand shift 7. And that number right there has to be locked when I go this way, but allowed to move when I copy down. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times, lock the D, but not the 11. I get these numbers again, comma. And then this one's going to be in double quotes, less than or equal to in double quotes, and join it to that 9, 1, 2, 3 times. And that should do it. Control, Enter. And then I copy it down and over. Oh, look at this. I'm already, the, the pivot table, I think, just gave it a blank, right? So now I'm going to have to, since there are no male ones in between here, there's no numbers, I'm going to have to come here and do 2007 and later, the if error. Remember, in earlier versions, 2003 and before, if we had, we'd have to do an array formula with average and a bunch of ifs and stuff, and we'd have to list it twice. But if error, no way. I just have a thing there in the value that either gets me what I want or an error. So if it's an error, the if error knows, I'm going to put a double quote. Uh, sorry, double quote, double quote, a null text string which says, hey, show nothing. Control Enter. Double click and send it down, copy it over. And then I'm not going to get as fancy. I'll just leave it there. All right, that's cool. Uh, that's a good formula. That new sum ifs 
Nice improvement, uh, much better than some. If lets us handle multiple conditions and avoid the whole sum product thing, right? Oh yeah, uh, sum and, product. But it, I think I used average ifs. Average ifs, sum ifs, average ifs, count ifs, all of those. Uh, you know, I, I kind of made fun of average ifs because I said, well, hey, if we could just do sum ifs divided by count ifs, you would have average ifs. This is like making it too easy for people. But I guess that's just me being me. Well, the, except for the average ifs and sum ifs and count ifs. Oh, they calculate so much faster that is true. than those some products. All right, there you go. Well, yeah, hey. who is it? Who's the master of fast? Charles Williams. Yes. He had that famous white paper article a bunch of years ago, and he basically said, if you can use the some ifs, average ifs, you got to use them. Charles uh, was supposed to do a session at the MVP Summit today, but he uh, wasn't able to come. But they did his presentation anyway. He has a great add-in. Uh, that has new VLOOKUPs, like better VLOOKUPs, all kinds, like 90 new functions in this add-in. Uh, it's pretty wild. We saw some of those today. I don't know if he has anything for this, but uh, yeah. What's Amazing the stuff. name of the add-in? That would be a great thing, and we'll have to uh, put that as a call-out over the, uh, um, when we edit it, because I can't remember right now, but it was slick. Cool. Yeah. I can't wait to get that add-in. Yeah, all kinds of new VLOOKUPs. We'll have to teach uh, Excel is Funner how to do the new advanced <laughs> VLOOKUPs. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be teaching us in a few years. I'm sure he will. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for talking about We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel. And Excel is fun.